I know anytime you start chipping out Bondo, you're going to find a mess. That's what I got here. Big rust holes into here. I think this is, uh, I don't think this goes all the way through to the inside of the cab of the body. I don't know if these are uh, passages for like heat or, or what. But there's holes that go over into here. And this is just full of rusty crap. I'd love to blow all this rusty crap out of here or get it out of here some kind of way and then fix this. And of course, what I can see is going to happen is this is going to start a process of redoing the whole car because once I take this apart, it's going to mean pulling this fender off and fixing this and then fixing that and then fixing that and fixing that. It's going to, <laughs> going to be a whole Volkswagen restoration project and that's not what I want to start right now. So what I might do is clean this up as best I can, cover everything like I was saying with Pour 15. You know, I would they had uh, Bondo all up in here and I would much rather have this coated with Pour 15 than with Bondo. I think they're thinking with the Bondo, it might have been fiberglass, but it would uh, kind of help hold this fender in place. But I'd rather have it coated with 415 so it won't rust anymore until I can get back to it and fix it right. So that's what needs to happen here. Okay, with all that said, I've got a good day's work in front of me when I get back to this uh, come Wednesday or so. I suppose I'll just leave this little piece of galvanized here. It ain't hurting nothing. At some point, I would probably pull it out and cut all this out and do a little body replacement thing right here but uh, for the time being it's serving a purpose uh, and I may just do a little bit of shade tree patch up work here and then uh, come back to it you know this is the kind of stuff that I can do after I got the front end up under it you know if I do all this work like especially here this would be hard to reach with that front axle in the way but with that front axle out of the way it would be fairly easy to get over in here and do some good work right in this area right along in here this stuff that starts going toward the back of the car I can do with the axle in the way and it ain't gonna hurt none so I suppose I might unscrew all these tech screws and pull this piece out and uh, see what it would take to remake that section there because it sure would be a lot stronger if it was uh, done right all right, so I got plenty to think about between now and the next time I get to this. I'll go, uh, I may just go online and order me some parts as far as tie rod ends and joints and everything. We'll go from there.